Hi, I'm Dwayne Malasa, and I am here with Josh Corman and Gene Kim, and today we're talking about DevOps. So my first question is, why should security people care about DevOps? Uh, DevOps is a game changer. The, the sheer velocity with which organizations are making changes, making appointments, driving business value, it's just so fast that traditional security after the fact can't keep up. So it's really like a survival you know, moment for us. We have to adapt or die. Uh, and the good news is, it drives a lot of the behaviors and patterns that we've always wanted to do, like automation and instrumentation and orchestration and hardening and driving down complexity. And uh, you know, we really see that when you saw Waterfall go to Agile and now we're going to DevOps, this is like a singular opportunity for us to redefine the way we drive value and act as a team with the rest of the business. So we can't miss the opportunity. So is this just about making ops more efficient or what's, what's the real story? Well, I mean, basically, uh, the way I tell it, Gene doesn't like it, but uh, you know, developers are incentivized to cause change, and operations people are incentivized to keep things stable or prevent change. And they found that when they worked together, uh, they had strengths the other one needed, and together they were able to accomplish more and have breathtaking results of the number of changes, the number of piece, points of customer value, less hardware, less process, less waste, less drag. They increased flow, increased value, and they became heroes of the business. So we're going to be left behind, or we're going to be the third member of that loving trio. Well, Gene, Gene you uh, have been doing a lot of study, gathering data. What's new and what's changed since you started looking at this? Oh, I mean, the, in 2009, we thought 10 deploys a day, was that was considered fast. But these days, you know, well, we're seeing organizations like Amazon, Google, Netflix, Etsy, Twitter, they are doing tens, hundreds, thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of deploys per day. And so, and they can complete those deployments in minutes or maybe hours, whereas non-high performing shops are doing it in weeks, months, or quarters. And so if you can imagine the business advantage that creates when you can actually do deploys on demand whenever you need to and have it done in minutes versus having to wait you know, for months or quarters. And from an information security perspective, you know, we can no longer be in the way. You know, no one can wait six weeks for us to approve uh, and do a security review uh, of code. And so, more important than ever, it's information security has to be as responsive to dev and ops. And I, I agree with Josh. This is, I think, one of the most uh, monumental moments for information security, the likes of which we haven't seen in 30 years, that can move us from this preordained failure, uh, this downward spiral where we get more and more insecure, technical debt keeps building up, and actually be a part of the team that's helping the organization win. So a lot of security people are nervous about moving to a DevOps model because they really don't know how it's going to affect their role and their job and even the predictability and security of the organizations that they're trying to protect. What advice do you have for them? Well, we have a lot of common ground and a lot of these DevOps guys have come to us. You know, they sought us out because if you think about it, we have this old axiom in security that complexity is the enemy of security. Well, guess what? Complexity is also the enemy of stability. And what we're, they're realizing is code bloat, too many unnecessary uh, third party and open source components add complexity and lines of code. And they're really realizing that some of the things we've been trying to push upstream into the development process actually make their code more stable, more nimble, and whatnot. So Gene, if people are worried about it, what advice do you have? You know, I think my advice to any information security practitioner is reach out to your peers in development and operations and find out who is interested in DevOps. And I think you will find that uh, you will find friends where you least expect it. That you will find developers who care about stability, they care about the non-functional requirements like security, scalability, um, technical, you know, debt. technical debt, right? And you're going to find the operations people who can cross the divide and really speak to developers and help developers you know, uh, be more productive. And I think that's the winning team, where you have dev, ops, and security all working together to help the organization win. And it, I think it's going to be, the expectation I'd like to set is that it will be the most fun journey that they'll ever be on, where they're a part of a team where our skills and contributions are valued, and we're all part of a, does, it's great to be on a team, but there's nothing better than being a part of a winning team. All right, I'd like to thank you guys, and uh, just to comment on that, I've heard from a mentor of mine that team equals software, and that to me, DevOps seems to be one of the most practical ways to create a unified team around delivering great software and a great experience, all focused on the same objectives, and it's not about silos, it's about tearing down the walls and bringing people together.